Hello again, Pirates. This week, we'll talk about Mock Trial, some of our students' favorite movies, information on Neon Week, the film festival, and the Diablo Canyon field trip some of our students recently took. Our mock trial team won the Slow County Championships, beating Templeton High in the semifinals and Slow High in the finals. This makes them back-to-back -back champions in the county. They qualified for the state competition, which will take place later this month in Southern California. We have an exclusive interview with some, of, with some members of mock trial to hear about the event. What are your guys' name and grade? My name is Eli Waldman. <laughs> My name is Karen Lund and I'm a senior. So how has this season been so far? Uh, pretty good. We're 6-0 and and we just won county competition. Yeah, so now we're going to state in March, which is pretty exciting. Really, LA, love it. That's awesome. So how does a team feel about making it to state this season? Pretty excited. <laughs> yeah, we're all really excited. Um, I mean, just like going down to LA, it's like a whole different world. We'll see a bunch of different people. We have like our people call it the nerd prom. So yeah. And what has been your favorite memory from mock trial this year? Winning. I'd say just like laughing with people, um, going to like the scrimmages, like at Menlo, hotels, kind of stuff. And finally, do you have any shout outs to anyone on the team? I'd like to shout out Orion Ray. I'd like to shout out um, Vina Fryer and all of our coaches. Thank you. About mock trial. Hey, Nolly, what's your favorite movie? It has to be Booksmart. How about you? I really like The Truman Show and Jennifer's Body. We have asked you on the street to ask what everyone else's favorite movie is. Then we'll head over to Joss for your weekly sports update. My name is Iris Ratzat. What's your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie of all time, although it's pretty like corny, I have to say The Notebook. It's a classic. It'll make me cry every time. I love it. Thank you. What are your guys' names? Jamie. Marilyn. What's your favorite movie of all time? Spider-Verse. Probably all the Conjuring movies. Okay, thank you. Trent. Jackson. What's your favorite movie of all time? Brokeback Mountain. Great film. Finding Nemo. Okay, thanks. Okay. Girls basketball finished a historic season last Thursday with a close loss to Granada Hills Charter in the second round of state playoffs. Huge shout out to all the students and community members who came out to support the girls. This season, as a team, they broke six all-time Morro Bay records. Most points scored, most three-pointers made, most rebounds, most blocks, and most assists in a season, as well as most blocks in a game. Two girls also broke multiple all-time individual records, some of which have stood since the 80s. Georgie Wheeler now holds the record for most three-pointers made in a season with 111, and Taylor Morrison now holds the record for most rebounds in a season with 377. Most rebounds in a game when she snatched 29 against Hanford, and most blocks in a game. Twice the season, she swatted nine opponent shots. Let's send it over to Tyler with an interview with some of the girls. Hello, who am I here with today? Zoe. Taylor. This season, you girls have made it the furthest out of 25 years, how has your team progressed so much compared from this year to last year? Um, team chemistry, honestly, like we do a lot of like team bonding and we're just together all the time. So I think the chemistry on the court made it easier for us to like work together. Did you ever expect to make it to state? Um, I think that we just kept really working hard and we're going one game at a time. Is there any memorable moments that you guys had? Any favorite parts? Um, when we were in Tulare and we went to Wingstop and one of us got like a kid's meal and it came with a fake ketchup bottle and we threw it at our coach. <laughs> I think going to the Celand Arena and staying the night up in Fresno and just that whole experience was pretty memorable. Do you guys have any shout outs to anyone? Uh, shout out to my girl Vi and Coach Katie. <laughs> oh, shout out Georgie and Fiona and Alex. That concludes On it. an amazing season. It was so fun to watch you girls compete. Next, Stunt had a competition last Wednesday against a Royal Grande and lost 12 to 2. Despite the loss, they showed huge improvement. Awesome start, girls. 
Last Saturday, track and field went to Atascadero for their opening meet, the Atascadero Memorial Invitational. We had four athletes finish in the top five in their events and achieve personal records. Lila Green, Nami Hogue, Ian Lambright, and Wendy Wilson. Boys Volleyball hosted the Volley at the Rock tournament this past weekend. 16 teams from all over competed with Madeira South High School winning the Gold Division, Templeton High School winning Silver, and Emmanuel High School winning the Bronze Division. Our Boys Volleyball team played strong all weekend and kept up a great fight, winning two of their matchups. Come out today to support our girls beach volleyball pairs in their home match against the Sloka Grizzlies. Matches start at 3 at the beach courts, so stop by any time after school. Boys Golf traveled to Santa Barbara last week for a nine-hole match against private school Laguna Blanca. MVHS won by 65 strokes. Stonehawk medaled with one over par score of 37. In the pool, our swimmers hosted Paso Robles for their first meet last Friday. Our JV boys took home the win and many of our girls swam personal best. Both the girls and boys teams are looking to start and have a great season. That's all we have for sports this week. Back to Lucas and Nolly. Thanks for the sports update, Joss. This upcoming week is going to be a big one. The Neon Spirit Week. And why is that? Next Friday is our Discoteca Neon Dance. Oh, I'm so excited. Me too. Here's a quick video from ASB explaining the week. Okay, let's go. Come grab a drink of lemonade on Tuesday at Nutrition. This Wednesday, wear your going out outfits. Wear button down skirts and fun tops. Thursday is whiteout day, so make sure to come to school wearing all white. And make sure to come to the quad for our glow up activities to get ready for the rally. We're gonna have Mardi Gras, face paint, sunglasses, tattoos, and candy jewelry. Get cozy before the disco second. Next Friday, before the neon dance. We can't wait to see you all there. Hi Ritz. The Film Fest is coming up. I really think it's one of the coolest events that we do here at Morro Bay High. I agree. The Film Fest will be hosted at the Morro Bay Theater on Thursday, May 13th. Make sure to save the date. And if you're going to make a film, get to work on it. The deadline to submit will be April the 28th. The categories will be action, comedy, drama, animation, horror, foreign language, and other. There will also be a lot of prizes. I can't wait to see all your cool films. Me neither. 